for coming uh, early to recognize our seniors tonight. We're very excited to be able to recognize their achievements. Uh, very excited to have participated in graduation this week. Thank you for being a part of that. And so I'd like to introduce Dr. Michael Myrick, our Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum Instruction. Good evening, Good evening. board, and thank you, um, Mr. Chair. Tonight is a special event for us. And tonight, for the first time in quite some time, our senior reflection speakers are actual graduates. Um, they have been graduated this past weekend, so we're very excited about that. They're going to come to us this evening just to share their reflections. We have a senior representing each one of our high schools. We're going to start tonight with Granville Academy, Jeffrey Ty Guyton. Jeffrey will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in information, excuse me, with a major in management information systems. Uh, how's everybody doing? Hope they're doing all right. How are you doing? It's pretty warm outside, that's all I gotta say. Um, so my name is Jeffrey Guyton. Uh, I'm a graduate of Granville Academy's class of 2021. Um, two years ago, I remember going to my mom and dad. Um, I was currently attending Granville Central. And I remember telling them about how there was this virtual school uh, in Granville County that was completely online, no going to school. Um, and we sat down, we talked about it. And we decided that we would get some information from Dr. Graham and the current counselor, um, Ms. Glass. Um, after getting the information, it was pretty clear the pros outweighed the cons. Um, so we made the decision and I finally decided to attain Granville Academy. Um, schoolwork had always been something I kind of just excelled in. I didn't really see a problem with doing it. It was very easy just to sit there and get the work done, get it done on time and make sure I was punctual in it. Um, after meeting with Dr. Graham and we discussed my options with college, we discussed all my credits and everything like that, we had decided it would be all right to sit there and go ahead and get into honors and AP classes, which it was my, my junior year was my first time taking AP and college courses, um, but it turned out very well being at Graham Academy. Um, one of the biggest perks for me was being a student athlete, I was playing golf for Granville Central at the time. I was team captain. I had been to States twice. Um, virtual school allowed me to be at the golf course just as much as I was in schoolwork, as well as work my job at the golf course pretty much all the time. Um, Granville Academy helped me stay balanced with my athletics. I was able to lead my team to States uh, this year, my senior year. Uh, however, we did not qualify. That's my bad. Um, <laughs> um, working at my own pace in athletics and academics is something that I truly believe in. I think that being able to keep up with myself and keep my mental fortitude at bay is something that I pretty much have to keep in mind all the time. Um, the teachers and classwork portion of Granville Academy was by far some of the best I've ever had. Um, every teacher I had worked with me constantly to make sure I was on top of my work, to make sure that I had all of my dates, syllabus, everything. Um, there wasn't a time I couldn't get help. If I needed any sort of recommendations, tutoring, they were there at any time willing to help me. Um, not long after beginning at Granville Academy, I pretty much made my decision to go to East Carolina. I had been touring. I had been talking with the golf coach there. Miss um, Parker, the new counselor for Granville Academy, helped me so much in the college process. Scholarships, financial aid, um, including the FAFSA, which I won't get into about that one. And then <laughs> um, my mom, she's a very, you know, right on top of it type of mom, you know. Um, she stayed on it 24-7 with me, and without Granville Academy's help, I don't know how I would have been able to get to where I was. I don't see how students wouldn't accomplish um, the same amount of work they get done in normal class virtually. Um, if anything, virtually, I think, promotes um, the college skill of time management, being able to look at what you need to do, get it done on time, and then balance everything you need to in your daily schedule. Um, Lastly, I'd like to say that Granville Academy has 100% prepared me for college. Um, I know how to study. I know when to study. I'm prepared. 
I'm ready to get on my work and I know how to balance my schedule when I need to. Thank you for having me here this evening. Thank you to Dr. Graham for also being allowing me to you know, be here um, and Ms. Parker for caring about all of us students this year. Um, it's clear that you want us to be successful in life and you will go the extra mile to be there for us. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Next, we will have Next, we will have Simeon Asher Williamson from Granville Central High School. Simeon will be attending Vance Granville Community College in the fall to major in the college transfer program. It's a lot of people here. <laughs> Blue. Um, greetings, everybody. My name is Simeon Williamson. I am a, I'm a fellow graduate of Granville Central's class of 2021. Before I start, I would like to thank Superintendent Dr. McClain, Chairman Richardson, and each board and each Board of Education member for attending this evening. I am honored to speak on behalf of my senior class this evening. Gravel Kent, I'm sorry, I was a little nervous. <laughs> Yo, know, Gravel County Schools has had a great impact on me as a student and as an individual for all the staff and faculty relationships I've had and continue to have. And, and to show my gratitude, today I share my story of going through Gravel County Public Schools. My story starts at West Oxford Elementary School, home in the Owls. What makes West Oxford so unique isn't the mascot, but its staff. Fortunately, my teachers nurtured moreover guiding me in whatever way they could so I didn't fall behind. Especially when it came to taking the end of grade test. That's all right. Passing those tests has always been a struggle for me and a challenge. My third grade teacher, Miss Donna, an excellent and caring teacher made her main priority to make sure that we passed and with proficiency. Then leading to my fifth grade year, my teacher, Ms. Shaw, not only made learning fun, but she made sure that no matter what comprehension level you were, you could, you could understand the content. It was those times when they both stayed late tutoring me that I liked the most. It was through the one-on-one -on -one sessions I began to really appreciate for all the things that my teachers have done for me. Moving on to Northern Granville Middle School, not only did my teachers have an impact on me, but also my coaches. My most fond memories of middle school revolve around two distinct individuals, Coach Kittrell and Coach Reggie, my wrestling coaches. The first two years of wrestling were tough. I didn't win a single time. I would practice hard, but it was different once I stepped on the mat. My eighth grade year was unlike my other years. Coach Kittrell and Coach Reggie wanted me to go from 145 pounds to 160 despite my size, or my small size, since I was struggling with my current one. They told me that I was much faster and I had more stamina than the others because I was much smaller. I was nervous at first, but that didn't matter because they said they believed in me. That meant a lot to me since I didn't win a single time. And later that same year, I got second place in a tournament, not because I was a great athlete. It was because my coaches believed in me and saw something in me that I could not. Advancing to high school, Granville Central wasn't just a school to me. It was my second home. In a heartbeat, I would help out to show how happy I was to be there. My sophomore, junior, and senior year, I was selected for leading group tours for upcoming freshmen. It's not about giving tours for me, but about giving back after all that has been given to me. Sharing my love and showing my Panther pride to others is the least I can do for my school community. My high school track and cross country coach, Coach Givens, is like a second dad to me. He did a lot for others 
and for me as well. Things not only on the field, but off. For picking me up, along with others to practice, and even taking us home. Even after even picking us up and taking us home from long and late meets. Even paying for meals if we didn't have enough. He even bought, he even bought us new jerseys out of his own pocket. Coach Givens is an example of a person who I inspire to be. It is the small, important things that I appreciate most about Granville County Schools, from the lasting relationships, the, the care shown his students, and for welcoming me with open arms. It's the love and support they have shown me over the years that helped mold and shape me to a person into the person I am today and the man I strive to be. I will, for never, I will never forget the life lessons I have learned attending Gravel County Schools. Thank you. Thank you, Simeon. Next, we will have Maria Nicole Thomas from at from J.F. Webb High School. Maria will be attending Appalachian State in the fall to major in nursing. Good evening, Dr. McLean, Chairman Richardson, board members, and central office staff. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity to speak. I was astonished when Ms. Rice asked me to speak to you all. I thank Ms. Rice, who's been with me for basically my whole academic life and for choosing me to speak today. I am Maria Tomas, and I'm, and I'm proud not only to be representing JF Webb, but also my entire family. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am, but with all the motivation and support they give me, I am here. I'll be the first in the generation to be going to a four-year college. This makes me happy because I will be able to set a great example for the rest of my family. For me, it all started in Stovall Shaw. I was the youngest student in the school with a birthday in late September. When I was in pre-K, I had one of the best teachers, Miss Betty, and her assistant, Miss Debbie. They were the nicest teachers, which made my first year in school extra special. I literally got carried around like a baby because I was so small. When I was young, one of my most favorite characters was Dora. I liked her so much, I even cut my hair like her and would even dress like her. My kindergarten teacher, Miss Hughes, knew how big of a big fan I was of Dora. For my birthday, she had even given me a pair of Dora shoes. It may, it may come as a surprise to you, but I was a troublemaker throughout my elementary years. It's funny because my teachers now don't seem to believe it when I say I was a troublemaker. I can't tell you how many times I had to go see Ms. Rice in her office or how many times she had to get called into the class because of me. I didn't like to listen and I just did my own thing. Towards the end of elementary school, something happened that made me realize that I wanted to change. It was probably during fourth grade and I was in the media center with my class sitting near my friend. She was playing with her sandal and broke it. She told the teachers that I was the one who broke it. I told the teachers I didn't do it, but they believed her because in the past, when I do things, I lie to not get in trouble. I was devastated with the fact that they did not believe me, but I also realized it was partly my own fault for the way I was before. When I headed to Mary Potter for middle school, I realized I'd be able to show a new me because no one there would really know my past. My first year at Mary Potter, I did improve my behavior. But I noticed how my parents were very happy about the excellent grades my sister earned and her recognitions and accomplishments. As with having siblings, I got jealous. I wanted to make my parents proud of my grades too. With my sister and parents encouraging me and, I, and the motivation to improve at school, I believed that I could do it with the support of my family. My seventh grade year, I attempted to do better with my grades by studying, staying after school when needed, or asking for help in general. During my eighth grade year, I really committed to my schoolwork because I wanted to leave middle school with a good recognition and reputation as a student. 
My hard work paid off and I was inducted into the National Junior Honor Society. My parents were happier than ever. I knew that those late nights studying to understand the material was so worth it, as was staying after school when needed and asking for help, or anything that would help me to improve in school. In all honesty, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the teachers I had that year. The teachers I had that year had a big impact in my life. I am thankful for these teachers today. They helped me a lot. <clears throat> when I entered Webb in the ninth grade, I was nervous and afraid. You might rarely hear this from a student, but I like school. I, I made a commitment to do well all my four years. What's amazing is how fast it all went. My hard, work, my hard work has paid off over these last four years. I have received many accomplishments and recognitions, and I am leaving with so many proud moments for myself and my parents. It wasn't easy trying to get here. There are always obstacles in my way, but throughout my, my years at Webb, I continue to have a great, great teachers who cared about me and my education. I hope that I am able to inspire others to know that anything is possible if you commit to it. My favorite, quote has, my favorite quote has been that all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them by Walt Disney. My, my education doesn't stop here. I will continue studying at Appalachian State University for the next four years to pursue my dream of being a nurse and specializing in pediatrics. I will surely miss JF Webb and will cherish, cherish all the memories made there. I thank everyone for making my years in Granville County Public School so wonderful and thank you to the superintendent and board chairman and board members for allowing me to share my reflection. Let's go Warriors, class of 2021. Thank you, Maria. Next, we will have Sarah Catherine Elliott from Granville Early College. Sarah will be attending East Carolina University in the fall to major in nutrition. My name is Sarah Elliott, and I'm a recent graduate of Granville Early College High School. I've been a student in Granville County Public Schools since kindergarten, and I wanted to share some memorable experiences and reflect on a few teachers that really made a difference in my life. When I started school at Creedmoor Elementary, I learned fundamental lessons about sharing, following directions, and treating others with kindness that taught me how to be a good student and a good person. My first grade teacher, Mrs. Auclair, helped me discover my love for reading by believing in me and encouraging me to try to read books a little above my reading level. She planted the seeds for what has blossomed into a passion for reading, which has improved my vocabulary, entertained my imagination, and carried me into adulthood with appreciation for the power of the written word. Through second and third grade, I continued to learn through exploration and fun. In fourth grade, I switched to Mount Energy Elementary School because of redistricting. At Mount Energy, I made extremely close friends and made so many happy memories of field days, music classes, trips to the library, and days filled with fun learning. I started to learn how to take tests, and the strategies I learned in fourth grade for the EOGs carried me through school and helped me to excel on college entrance exams. I also learned to think outside of the constraints of a multiple choice test, and I had fun with hands-on science experiments and creative writing assignments. When I reached sixth grade, I attended Holly Middle School. I enjoyed more, free more freedom, seeing different classmates, and the options to take different electives. I developed critical thinking skills and a love for history with Mr. Cope. I had the option to take advanced math in seventh and eighth grades, which put me ahead in high school. In eighth grade, Mrs. Jorgensen really and truly taught me how to write. Instead of just assigning papers, she instructed us how to tailor our writing to our audience and our purpose how to adjust a writing style based on the prompt, and how to write professionally. She took principles of writing from higher level courses and had the, pac the patience to make them accessible to younger students. I can't thank her enough for providing the foundation that has helped me to write papers in history classes, craft lab reports, and write essays that have helped me to get a job, get into college, and win scholarships. After middle school, I decided to attend Granville Early College High School. In my first years of high school, my teachers prepared us for the future with rigorous coursework and high expectations. 
Because of my motivated peers and the dedicated staff, the environment at the school emphasizes academics and limits distractions. Faculty at the high school worked individually with each student to plan out their college courses and help them to be challenged academically without being overwhelmed. Ms. Nimitz, Mrs. Ijams, Mr. Newton, and Ms. Harris supported me each step of the way. As I took more community college classes, I grew more independent, strengthened my critical thinking skills, and had awesome opportunities like dissecting pigs, frogs, and sheep brains, and getting a job as a tutor at Vance Gramble. I am leaving Gramble County Public Schools with 78 hours of college credit, an associate degree, and a plan for my future, and that's something to be excited about. I can't list the names of all of my wonderful teachers here, but I will be eternally grateful to each and every teacher, principal, and support staff member who helped me grow through the years. As a student in Granville County Schools, I found my voice, developed my belief system, and been equipped for the future. So thank you for the memories, the love, the support, and the preparation for whatever life holds for me. Granville County Public Schools will always hold a special place in my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Our last speaker for the evening is from South Granville High School, Ms. Kalia Nichelle Bowman, and she will be attending UNC Greensboro in the fall. My medals are clinking together. <laughs> okay. So good evening, Dr. McLean, Mr. Richardson, and the Granville County Public School Administration and board members. I'm a little nervous, okay. My name is Kalia Bowman, and I'm a 2021 graduate of South Granville High School. First, I would like to take a brief moment and thank everyone for giving me the opportunity to speak about my experience in Granville County Public Schools. I started attending Granville County Public Schools at six years old. I attended Wilton, Creedmoor, and Butner Stem Elementary along with Butner Stem and Holly Middle, and I was fortunate enough to finish all four years at South Granville High School. When I started attending Granville County Public Schools, I struggled trying to, fit, trying to fit in with other students. I was very shy and kept as minimal contact as possible. As time went on and I got more familiar with the students and the friendly staff, I was able to become more involved and comfortable with my peers. Thanks to the wonderful people I was surrounded by, I was able to view them as not only friends, but family as well. The past four years at South Granville High School have been like a roller coaster. I wasn't sure what to expect after each twist and turn, but the ride had me prepared for whatever, I, for whatever was next with the help of the students and staff. In 2018, only a couple months into my sophomore year, I stumbled upon a major obstacle and lost my mother. She was my best friend and my biggest motivator when it came to school. I'm sorry. Okay. At that time, um, I wasn't sure if I'd have the strength to keep up my high expectations and continue to make others proud. Despite having these doubts, I knew I had to get back on my feet. Thank you. I knew I had to get back on my feet and make my mom proud, even if she wasn't here with me physically. And I'm, I'm very proud of myself for that, by the way. <laughs> I came back to school days later to open arms from the amazing faculty and students. There were a few teachers that helped me through this hardship, such as Ms. Sibley, Mr. Jones, and Ms. Bond. Although I received amazing help from those teachers, there's one specific teacher that helped me out with a lot, helped me out, helped me out a lot without even realizing it. Ms. Jordan, I personally want to thank you for allowing me to complete my school assignments and clear my head alone in your separate classroom. A few days after my mother's passing, there were a few mornings I felt like I wasn't okay to be around others. Instead of missing the whole school day, Ms. Mrs. Jordan, I'm sorry, Mrs. Jordan allowed me to take baby steps and be proactive and alone at the same time. Not only did I keep going, but this helped me a lot to do better academically than before. Thank you so much, Mrs. Jordan. Thank you. <laughs> Overall, I've had a tremendous experience in Gurma County Public Schools. I am personally going to miss every laugh, hug, and the small things like switches, switching classes and eating lunch with the other students. 
However, I'm grateful to have such an amazing memory to keep me going. Thank you so much for your time. Thank all of you. Dr. McLean. Thank you, Chairman Richardson. And to all of our students, please allow me to say we are simply proud, delighted, honored, and extremely amazed at how incredibly wonderful each and every one of you are. It has been our district's pleasure to have served you, and it's been our honor to have watched you this evening share your reflections and your memories, and some of your most sacred memories. Some are funny, some are serious, and you've shared them with us, and we appreciate it. We do this so that you can help us remember and refine our craft as we continue to serve students in our community. But I want you to know, we just think the world of each of you, and we wish for nothing but the best for every one of you. We know great things are in store for you, and we want you to come back and share them with us. Because now, you started with us, you might as well finish with us. <laughs> so we want you to come back. We're excited when young people join our board meetings, and this evening is no less. So congratulations once again to all of you. We just want, we want, to keep, we want you to keep in touch with us. Um, come back from time to time when you come to town. Don't go away and stay strangers. Do come back and drop by from time to time. And just know we've been honored to have been a part of your lives. Thank you. All right, well, we want to thank you again for coming with us. We want to invite you if you'd like to stay for our board meeting. I'm sure that's <laughs> riveting for you. But I also understand if you can think of a million other things to do. Probably like cleaning a toilet or something. <laughs> so at this time, we're going to take a, a break until 6 o'clock. <laughs>